So if you're in search for any better smooth Android training custom ROM, then you're in the right place. Hey, what's up guys, KSK Royal here. Welcome back to another video. This is called Evolution X based on Android 10, the fastest better smooth custom ROM ever, period. Currently, this ROM is available for a few devices and in future, you can expect to taste this ROM on your specific droid. In this video, I will share my experience of Evolution X using my Redmi K20 Pro. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So far, I reviewed many ROMs on this channel, but I have never tried Evolution X on any of my devices. When I first installed this ROM, I feel like I converted my Redmi K20 Pro into a Pixel 4 XL. Ever since I got introduced to Evolution X, I am addicted to this ROM completely. From app launching to gaming, everything on my Redmi K20 Pro is super snappier. Now before talking about the features, let me show you the version in the settings. By the time of recording this video, Evolution X is quite stable. It can be used as a daily driver on your K20 Pro without any doubt. Evolution X is based on Android 10 and you can expect to see all the stock features from Google. This ROM comes with a many Google applications which are pre-installed. That means you don't have to flash any gapps package separately. When it comes to the launcher, you get a latest Pixel launcher. which which is a basic launcher. Along with Pixel Launcher, you get to see a lot of Pixel goodies pre-installed into the system. Within the launcher, you can access the new setting called uh, Styles and Wallpapers, which are only exclusive to Pixel smartphones. But thanks to the developer, uh, this feature uh, lets you customize the lock screen look. That means you can customize the clock, font, as well as colors and more. Along with the styles, you also get the latest live wallpapers from Pixel 4 XL. These live wallpapers change their look dynamically based on the system theme. Just look at these beautiful live wallpapers, which can also be customized according to your fancy. This ROM also comes with a pre-built screen recorders. Yes, you get a two screen recorders out of the box, the one which can be accessed from the app drawer. This screen recorder does capture the system audio, which means if you're a gamer, you can record the gameplay along with the system audio at high quality. Now, my favorite one would be the OnePlus screen recorder, which is sort of hidden from the end user. To access this hidden shortcut, I click on the edit button within the a quick tile panel then scroll all the way to the bottom until you see this option just go ahead add it to the main menu and that's it now you have successfully unlocked this hidden feature the oneplus screen recorder lets you customize a lot of things like you can change the resolution you can also modify the bit rates frames and more by the way if you want to record a gameplay with internal audio recording set an audio source to internal and get started using it now talking about one of the biggest improvements of this ROM is the navigation gestures. Oh boy, just look at the speed of Redmi K20 Pro. It is butter smooth from jumping one application to another application. Everything flows like a magic. I feel like I'm using iPhone 11 Pro Max, seriously. There was no lag or stutters that I have encountered with these gestures. Trust me, these navigation gestures are simply astounding. Forget me, U11, just look at these cool navigation gestures. This will definitely going to blow your mind. Now talking about dark mode, uh, this ROM supports a system-wide dark theme and thanks to Android 10, all of the third body compatible applications may also opt for the dark theme without any issues. The dark theme on AMOLED panels looks phenomenal. Along the side with a dark mode, the developer also added a few ready-made accent colors that can change the look of the user interface. Like other ROMs, this ROM does provide a core settings that lets you customize many things in the system. For example, you can add more shortcuts to the power menu by using this setting, uh, which lets you quickly access these shortcuts from the power menu. Now, while taking screenshots, you would rather use a power plus volume down combination. Well, forget that for a moment, instead of relying on these keys, you can swipe down anywhere with a three fingers to capture the screenshot, which is fantastic. 
Now talking about the normal things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, LTE, LTE, fingerprints, UPA applications, Netflix, Widevine L1 does work fine without any issues. When it comes to face unlock, Android 10 will no longer support a trusted face unlocking mechanism, which is a part of Google Play services. We know that Google is working on a modern face unlocking mechanism for Pixel devices. For the sake of matter, they could have removed this feature, rather end up conflicting. Now when you talk about performance, I have no words to say, everything is super super snappy. You will definitely feel amazed at the performance. Yes, I did play PUBG as usual, the gameplay was phenomenal, no issues so far. And lastly, I ran benchmarks using Geekbench 5 and Intuitu, and these are the scores which I got on my Redmi K20 Pro. Now when it comes to battery life, you can expect to get a more than 5 plus hours of SVT very easily. So the final verdict of this video, this ROM is the better smooth Android 10 custom ROM available for Redmi K20 Pro, Pocophone F1, Mi A1 and many other devices. Forget Mi U11 and transform your Redmi K20 Pro into a Pixel 4 smartphone and start surprising your friends. I'm 100% sure you will definitely enjoy this. A huge thanks to Joe who has done an incredible job for this ROM. Show some support to this developer guys by doing some donations. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Royal. Peace out.